dear students welcome to my channel topic of this video is diagrammic representation of one dimensional data under the quantitative analysis this is the part 4 video i have already published part 1 part 2 and part 3 for part 2 i am going to make the two videos this video of our one dimensional and the next video is on two dimensional three dimensional and other types of diagram now let us start a diagram is visual representation of statistical data that highlights the fundamental relationship and facts that the data already include heavily utilized in biology lessons as students study the main body parts and their physiological functions concept presented visually through diagrams have a higher probability of being remembered and that is one of the biggest advantage of diagram and graph that than when they are presented as a text diagrams and graphs are extremely useful for the reasons listed below attractive and impressive in nature simplify and makes the facts understandable they allow the comparison some diagrams or some symbols they are universally accepted and universally useful they provide more detail and have a strong memory effect comparison of tabular and diagrammatic representation table shows precise figure that is numeric value whereas diagram simply provide an approximation a table can be used to read exact values one table may include more information that is features or characteristics than graph or figure so generally graph is uh, mostly used for one or two features tabular presentation is preferred for higher level of statistical analysis tables are typically far more difficult to understand and interpret than the illustrations graphs and diagrams have a visual appeal and hence appear more impressive to the layman people types of diagram one dimensional diagram they are also called as bar diagram two dimensional diagram in which rectangle square circle and pie chart comes into the picture three dimensional diagrams like cube cylinder sphere cuboid in which we generally consider as a volume next is pictogram and cartogram one dimensional diagram or bar diagram a bar has a shape of rectangle filled with color the length of the bar is important and not the width it is referred as one dimensional the width of each bar is depends on available space and number of bars these are the simplest and most easily comprehended most widely used and it is used effectively to compare huge number of observation different types of bar diagram simple subdivided multiple percentage deviation and broken bar diagrams simple bar diagram used to represent the data based on on one variable bars can be vertical or horizontal but vertical bars are more popular now this is a simple example country and birth rate is given and the respective simple bar diagram is shown on the right hand side so on the x axis uh different countries are represented that is here actually instead of birth rate it is country that is different countries are represented and on the y axis birth rate numbers are given second example that years and the dividend according to that particular years so here on the x axis years are represented and the particular value for that dividend for that year is represented as a bar subdivided bar diagram when it is required to present many components of a variable in this diagram each bar is separated into number of components first the total or cumulative amount is determined from the component quantities then the bar is divided by the magnitude of the component when the number of component exceed 10 or 12 subdivided bar diagrams are not used since they are very difficult to compare and understand now see this example here the manufacturing cost is there and manufacturing cost is divided into four types cost of raw material labor cost polish and delivery and their total manufacturing cost is given and the data is given for three years 2010 2015 and 2020 now here first we will find out the total so now total for 2010 is 49 for 2015 is 62 and 2020 it is 75 now it is represented on the x axis the years are given and here the total value is 49 and it is divided into particular components so four components are there and here we can compare 
in three years where the cost of raw material is more or we can make easily comparison between all these four parameters so this is the example of subdivided now next example departments are there and the boys and girls in each departments are given now here by looking the figure it is very difficult but when we see the visualization it is very easy to understand that in cs the girls are more compared to the boys in it the it is same here in exc boys are more and even in again ecs the number of boys are more than the girls so it is very easily uh, understandable from the diagram multiple bars two or more interconnected data sets are displayed the main difference between the multiple bars and standard bar chart is that when many phenomena are depicted different colors dots or crosses are used to differentiate between the bars a multiple bar diagram may be advantageous when comparison of two or more link variable is required now see the example for example here five years are given 2016 17 18 19 20 for every year we require to compare the percentage or the num uh, comparison between the import and export values they are given in crores now year 2016 the first is 100 that is the import value next is export value here we can this variable that is import and export they are the link variables and we want to comparison simultaneously so we can compare the next two example we can take that for example different departments are there and their uh, placements so we can take the particular year and under that year we can compare the different departments by the placement so we will get immediately idea that which department have the more placement or the less placement or the comparative study this is again the example that is 90 95 2000 2005 and 2010 these years are given sales gross profit and net profit is given and they are linked that's why it is represented by three bars here we can easily make the comparison and we can find out the analysis of the sales gross profit and net profit next is a percentage bars when bar diagram is subdivided based on the percentage of the total percentage bars are very useful in statistical work that requires the representation of relative changes in data when creating such diagrams the length of the bar is kept constant as 100 units and the segments are cut into these bars to indicate the aggregate component the percentage is then calculated for each component of the variable then cumulative percentage is then calculated for each component for example 3 years are given 2018 19 20 now wheat rice sugar cane and maize production is there that is a crop production now here the values are different but here we can't directly make the comparison by the values if we make the comparison in percentage it will give us a clear idea or picture so here we make the percentage 43 45 130 the total value is 118 so we calculate the wheat percentage for this three respective years rice percentage for this three respective years and same for sugar cane and meal and it is represented as subdivided bar diagram but they are represented in a percentage format so this is nothing but the percentage uh, bar diagram or even it is generally percentage subdivided bar diagram next is example that is cit xdc and ecs departments are given and the number of students who got placed in that particular year so now here uh, we can easily find out that the in c that in 2021 the more number of placements are there that is the nothing but the uh, we can compare by the percentage wise so like previous example here total is calculated and based on that percentage calculated and the percentage is reflected in the subdivided that is percentage subdivided bar diagram next is the deviation bars for representing the net quantities excess or deficit net profit net loss net exports net imports deviation bar diagrams are used because sometimes the values are positive and sometimes values are negative the values which are positive can be drawn above the baseline and the negative values can be drawn below the line see the example the years are given and sales and net from net net profit sometimes net profit is negative so which is represented by the bar below the line and for the positive it is represented above the line so in this way also 
we can make the comparison broken bars when there is a lot of variation in the values of the data such as certain values are very small and others are very large the bars may be split up to provide a space for the smaller bars of the data these bars are comparable to other bars but because they are differ greatly from the others they are presented in a distinct way so this will be get better understanding when we see the diagram now for example 2017 18 19 and 20 is there now this is nothing but the laptop sales in a thousand figure so 2017 18 there is a normal increase that is 100 200 300 but in 2020 because of maybe pandemic the laptop sales increased and which is exponential because after 300 it's immediately showing 14,000 uh, <coughs> here uh, to represent we can use the broken because if we uh, use a scale of 100 200 300 400 and after that it is again 1400 so better uh, this is again the very simple but in reality or in real applications whatever that difference is very huge so at that time we can't represent on the axis so here between the 500 and 1000 we use the broken lines and after that we can represent with the 1400 so this is nothing but the broken bars so broken bars are generally used when there is a variation or drastic change in the values so this is all about the one dimensional diagrams that is nothing but the bar chart in the next video i am going to explain the two dimensional three dimensional and pictogram and cartogram thank you so much